2. Are we suffering from a new bigotry? A case in a Southern California court attracted a little attention far outside the borders of Los Angeles and Orange counties. In April 1982, a destitute couple placed their natural child, a girl with county-chosen foster parents in Pomona, The mother of the child was sick and she was talked into allowing the child to be given to foster parents who were fostering two other children. The child was placed in a home on April the 22nd. There was no visitation in that home by a social welfare worker. The 21-month-old girl was sodomized by the foster father and died because of this sexual abuse on October the 4th, 1982. Before going any further, it is necessary to say that there are many fine foster parents. I have encountered more than a few of them. Moreover, welfare workers are commonly overloaded with casework and visitation sometimes gets neglected. What concerns me is something more. As I travel back and forth across the country, I am encountering a serious problem. More than a few areas are rejecting very superior couples who are eager to be foster parents for a very ugly reason. The hopeful foster parents-to-be are devout Christians. This does not appear in the records. The statement is made orally, usually to the foster mother-to-be. What we are seeing is a bigotry on the part of humanistic caseworkers against a responsible and moral element in our communities, the evangelical Christian. Is it any wonder then that we have sickening disasters from time to time, such as befell a little Monique Anne in Pomona? What can we say for a country which rejects devout and godly people as foster parents? I'm not saying that this is a rule across the country, but I am saying that it is happening and it is an ugly sign of the times. Bigotry has many faces. This is one of them.